Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jeremy and welcome to another vlog. So, I just want to reply to some of these qu uh, comments from last vlog, which are saying to get a pet or a dog, I mean a cat, a pet, colon, cat or a dog in this place. So, my answer is we're not meant to have them. So, I've got a cat and dog back at my parents' house. I wouldn't really want to replace them either. But yeah, cat would be pretty cool here, but sadly I don't think I can have one. And then someone said get stuffed animals. Nah. Someone said get plants. And there's a lot of things about food, like beans on toast, what people like to eat. There's a lot of Brisbane people here, so as I was saying, apparently my legs were showing in the video too. Alright, so this video is about something that happened in Greece about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Wait, I gotta, I gotta position myself right. I gotta work out this setup. So, there we go. I think I'm in this properly. Anyway, before I get started. All right, so this story is from my trip from trip to Greece a couple of weeks ago. Now, I forget how long it was, three weeks, two weeks, something. And it was for like a kind of family sort of thing. We met up with some family uh, on the island Zakynthos. I think we were saying Zakynthos, but it's Zakyntho or Zakynthos. There's like Greek pronunciation and whatnot. And yeah. Anyway, some of my a couple of my cousins are like in their twenties, so we would drink a lot. The alcohol. And one of the nights we went out. So the day starts, I wake up as usual. The other I meet the others in the bar area of the place we're staying at. There was like loads of us, like fifteen or twenty or something like that. Just like a big family friend thing, really, in Greece. I live in Australia, it's like on the other side of the world for a bit of a party, but hey. Yeah, so I wake up, as usual, they're always having their bacon and eggs. I sit down, I don't get any food. I order a cocktail for four, five euro, which equates to about seven or eight Australian dollars. I think we pay like 15 bucks for a cocktail here or something like that. So cocktails are pretty cheap on the island of Zakynthos. 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 I don't even know. Zakynthos. Yeah, in Greece. So I would start my day with cocktails. Pina Colada. Uh, wait, no. I think I tried Cheeky Vimto. Strawberry Daiquiri. Things like that at one place. So this morning, anyway, in particular, I wake up, I have Cheeky Vimto cocktail. So each of these have three or four alcoholic drinks in each, I believe. Two to three, maybe, at least. So it's not like your standard beer. Drinking age in Greece is 16, I thought, but 18 on Zach and Thos, so I'm 19 now. So I have a Cheeky Mimto, then a Pina Colada, Banana Colada, and a Zombie. Four cocktails all within about an hour or two. And then, as like a celebration thing for Blah Blah's birthday, oops, just banged my mic, uh, we're going on a boat trip this day. So about 1pm, I don't know, we get on the boat, I think I must have got up later that day. And yeah, we go out, do a drive around. It's all my Greece trip video, like some of this footage from the boat trip. And I never explain my trips, do I? Like, I've been to the States, Canada, Hawaii, Greece, and I don't tell you guys, like, anything about these trips this year. But I know some people would like to hear. It's just, like, I know some people aren't interested, so whatever. Anyway, we get on the boat. I've had four cocktails, which is, like, ten standard alcoholic drinks. Twelve, that's, like, already way too many. Like, we make a stop at this Turtle Island or something. <clears throat> I buy a Copperberg, which is... One sec. Dude, yes. One of these. Which I found in Australia when I was with my parents the other day. Uh, it has, like, everywhere now. So this is a Copperberg. This one's, like, something blah blah. Anyhow, I have one of those on the boat. I don't want this in my picture. There we go. And, yeah, I'm already, like, kind of drunk on the boat. So, it's a high-speed boat. Like, doof, doof, doof. Like, the women on there were worried about getting seasick. And they hadn't been drinking, but I had. No one else had been drinking at this stage, I don't think. Usually, I was the one that started the day with drinks. And I'm not... Yeah, okay, I'll stop there. But, uh... Yeah, so, anyway, there's another one. Then a bit later in the boat trip, we stop at an island, 
my cousin and I go to the top of the hill, take a photo, put it on Instagram. It's on the Instagram if you want to see it. My Instagram is in the description below. And then we have another drink, another one of these. I think it was like a strawberry flavored one this time. This one's strawberry and lime. Strawberry. Strawberry and lime. And yeah, anyway. Eventually we head back. It's about 7 p.m. They're like, okay, we're going to hit Laganus. Laganus? I don't know, in Zakynthos. If anyone knows, just say. Uh, we're going to hit that at 8.30. So it's 7 p.m. We have to go in an hour and a half. Oh my god. Run around. Get all changed. Have a shower. Something's beeping out there on the road. And yeah then we go out and start well first we go to a mexican place i sit with this dude where i think we must have drunk the most there like apparently it was someone's birthday at the table so we got like free stuff all through the night at the mexican restaurant i go through about two or three bottles of wkd which is like a pretty strong i don't know it's like kind of like a soft drink alcoholic thing but it's pretty strong and then we get Champagne brought out for like a celebration thing. I think I downed two or three cups of that and that stuff is pretty strong So what are we at now like 20 standard drinks in the day? Something like that. Yeah, probably like 20 at this stage. It's like 8 or 9 p.m. That's already enough to be like vomiting everywhere, man, but I wasn't at that stage and What's next so yeah, then before we leave that place we get like a shot of Schnapps it was schnapps. Yeah, I'm gonna get this hair on my eye I just came back from being out all day, so it's like all messed up. But we have the snap, then we leave. So that's like so many drinks, right? And then we start hitting bars, and yeah, well, it gets really messy soon. Get ready. So we had go to one place, get a few drinks. It was like, eh, the drinks like sex on the beach, like as an alcoholic beverage, not some sort of activity. And yeah, I think. I got an ice cube out of one of mine because I was pretty drunk. I was like, uh, and it hit the girl's head behind us. So like, there's a dude in, in front of me on the table. And I think they were trying to like flirt with these girls or something. So I totally messed it up for them. And then he goes over, he's like, do you want a drink? She's like, no. And he's like, oh, so that was my fault. Kind of lost that for them. Then we did like karaoke and stuff. Got a drink called a Tiki head fucker, apparently. Uh, I had half of mine. This was like a 10 euro drink. Really, really strong. A head fucker. That was what it's called. I had about half. Then we put it down. Two other people put it down. We did a karaoke. This was bad. Never do this. So the girls round the glass. And then we come back. I get given a full one. I just had half of it. This is an extra strong drink. So I'm like, God, guys, mine wasn't half drunk. They're like, just have it. I'm like, okay. So one of my friends or cousins, like, had bought one and taken my one, which is half drunk, and gave me theirs, so whatever. So I like down that. That was really hard. <laughs> so then we just have like drinks like vodka and Red Bull. As I said, like sex on the beach. Just drinks like that. Go to another place called like an indie bar or something. I think I might have skipped one out somewhere. <laughs> anyway, there was probably, there was one and then the Tiki thing. So this is the third bar we're at. And then... When we're walking along the street, I was like, I said to this girl, are you enjoying your cigarette? She's like, follows me. She's like, touching my hair and stuff. She's like, oh, you got a problem with smokers? I'm like, uh, no. I was just trying to make conversation. I was like, N not really. Because she was like, someone working on commission out the front. So I was just like, she's like, do you want to get, do you both want to come in here? I'm like, ah, uh, nah, enjoy your cigarette. And then she took it wrong. But yeah, apparently she follows me into some indie bar or something. And is like talking to me but I don't really remember that that's what my cousins and friends were saying so yeah we buy a bunch of drinks there do some beer pong and then so and so and I um, go to go into this area with like one of the women working there who was like being nice to me all night or something like that I don't know and she had nitrous oxide which is like laughing gas so so and so and I I get like three rounds and we're doing it with this chick too so, by that stage, I don't really remember anything. Yeah, it's like really... I must have been on about 30, 40, 50 drinks when I started doing the nitrous oxide. 40, maybe? And then after that, that was 2 a.m. Don't remember anything from 2 a.m. past. And we went back at 6 a.m. So, there was like a good few hours I can't recount for, and it's not cool, because I've seen photos. But, uh, what happened was... I ended up 
by myself. My friends were over this area of the bar, right? I'm at a table surrounded by five girls or something like that. There's photos that I've been showing. And apparently one or two of them was making out with me, which is like really not cool. And touching my hair and stuff. Like a lot of, I found like a lot of girls in Greece, like when you're in the kind of like drinking area, like at night, they'll just be like, come by and just be like, ah, nice hair. It's like, okay, don't have to touch my hair, but yeah. And like, I don't know. But, uh, it's funny because, I don't know, I got looked after by my group, but I was kind of off doing my own thing. Uh, everyone was telling me, waitresses with trays of shots kept coming by, and I'd just be like, I want all of them. Then I'd just, like, have them, like, laying out like this, douche, 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 and be like, <coughs> and apparently there was, like, ten. I did that two or three times, so there's, there's, like, a few drinks in each of those shots. I think I did two trays of ten. So I'm up to, like, 50, 60, 70 standard drinks. Don't recall anything else. I started just like, I don't know what happened, we had to leave there. I started vomiting somewhere. Like, I actually never vomit because I'm not like someone who vomits really, but this night is my first time vomiting in so long alcohol related. And I started vomiting in the bar place or something, so they have to take me out. Then they're like, okay, it's like 6 a.m., let's go back. So this is nothing, this is not me telling you this, but like, this is p what people have told me that happened to me. Then we get in the taxi, it's going back to the place, which is like 20, 30 minutes away. Apparently I'm just like vomiting over the floor, trolling the taxi driver that people said that I was like, dude, dude, you gotta stop, I'm gonna vomit, I'm gonna vomit. And then it, he'd like come to a stop at the side of the road, and I'd be like, ah, jokes. And then I'd have to drive off, but that got them a 10, 10 euro taxi fee, service fee, because I was like vomiting and being an arse in there, because I was like completely out of it. And apparently uh, one of the guys we're with, was on one of those big bar stalls and he was like drunk so he like kind of tipped and the whole thing tipped over and he rolled on the ground apparently everyone was like around him i'm just like ah like hysterical but yeah this is making me sound like an ass i'm not like this in real life but this was when i was super drunk and then i wake up in the morning 12 p.m actually not the morning i still don't really like me to sleep during the day like that so i slept from 6 a.m till 12 which is six hours or so and i wake up and bed is just vomit everywhere like my shirt stunk my shorts i don't know like they'd carried me to the bed and just put me there and it wasn't even my bedroom it, w it was someone else's bedroom i was put in i woke up i'm like where am i so yeah there we go probably my most recent brush with death i don't know like really stupid just really stupid so this is more like don't do that ever because it's bad I wouldn't suggest having more than like six drinks safely really in a night, which is like, I don't know, once you build up a tolerance, it gets pretty crazy. But yeah, that was like, I would say 50 to 70 standard drinks, which is probably hospitalization, but I came off fine and I woke up the next morning and I got a pina colada. Yeah, pina colada. Good stuff though. Went for a swim. And there's something else. Maybe not. Anyway, that was just really bad, but I thought I'd share that experience, like, just to say don't go like that, because that was bad, just bad. I was in the kind of party atmosphere, I was like, whatever, dude, this is fun. Yeah, so, hope you enjoyed that little story, and make sure not to do that, ever, okay? Thanks for watching.